it's something I've, I've struggled with. I've had the game since I've started playing football, so it's really not hard for me. Um, I was a little light going into the summer because of getting sick, but that's no issue. Back up to 288, 290. Yeah, it looks good. You know, he he came in as a freshman, heavy, slow, sluggish, and he really had to develop over those couple of years. And it took him kind of not only physically but mentally. But once he got it, you saw <coughs> hunger in his eyes, and it's a, it's something that's that's really prevalent this year. And it's, I'm excited to see what he does. How much does it help that you guys are as a unit pretty continent? Continuous that you guys have played together and you kind of know each other versus some of the other people, other groups that are still bigger. And that. As an offensive player, yeah, player. it's good. You know, I know the guys in the line. We've been together for a long time. It's, we know how each other play. We know how each other work. We know how to work together, and uh, it's it can be only positive. How do you feel the summer went for you guys? You know, it was good. We didn't only just work hard, which we've always done. We've always been a hard working team, but we worked hard together. It was something that we all came together. It was we were one as a team, and we made strides as a team. Was that something you'd say you didn't maybe do the past three years? Well, I mean, in reality, because of all the the issues that we went through in the past couple of years, you know, there was guys, there were stragglers that would hang out. There were guys that wouldn't be all the way in, but now it's a group. You know, there's there's no outliers. We're just one. How today go? Talk about today. Today was good. First practice. Good to have the cleats on. Good to put the helmet on. I wish we had shoulder pads and all the full pads on because you know, this really isn't practice yet. Um, it's not fun yet. Uh, but just being on the field and being with coaches and being with teammates and playing football is always great. How does uh, practice look and sound different than it did with your staff versus that I'd say there's less yelling. Coach Rod was a big yeller. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing, nothing against him. He's a great guy, but he liked to yell. Are you worthy from Michigan State got a tattoo of the Spartan <laughs> Warrior standing on top of a, a Wolverine um, that has a block helm, helmet on? I was just wondering if you had any reaction to that. Uh, I don't know who, uh, who would get tattoos. Is there? I don't know who would get a tattoo. You just get ink and stain your body with something like that. It's his <laughs> issue. Dave, <laughs> you talked about a stronger team unity. What do you credit? to that position? What what makes you say that now? What's different about now compared to before? Uh, you know, it's really hard to pinpoint what it is. It's kind of like we've been through strides of we've seen everything. And it's come to a point in a pinnacle where we know where we want to be, we know how to get there, and we have the tools to get there. And we're just, it's kind of just everyone's the same mentality we're ready to go. Coach Hope says that the, uh, the two most important position groups on the field are the guys that are the defensive and offensive lines. From what you've seen, the changes, the physical changes, and the experience, are those two groups ready to, to kind of take on that role? I'd say so. The defensive line has really picked up their game. It's, they're an old group. Offense and defense line, they're both old segments of the team. we got a lot of experience there. So they're two areas that are going to kind of be anchors for our team, and I have no issue with that. Put more pressure on us, put everything you want. Just say, if, if the offensive line was the only thing judged to win a game, put it on the board. How much of a transition do you think it is for Bernard going from you know, spread back into you know, maybe a more traditional style and more back type? I'm sure it's a, a transition for him. It's, it's something new, but it's not like we didn't have under center plays with Coach Rod. So, I mean, it's something Denard's got to work on, and he has. He's been really good at it, and uh, the offense is running pretty smoothly. Is that a transition for you guys? As well in the line. Offensive line is offensive line. Blocking teams are blocking teams. Plays are plays. They're all pretty simple. About how hungry this team is to kind of um, win again after you know y'all came here with great expectations, you know, how to win team and all that. And obviously the last three years have been but then how how would you describe it to you and yourself, especially? I mean it's 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 it might be it might be hard to see from the outside, but Especially taken from my perspective, I'm going. I'm coming on my fifth year. I came on here, came here under Lloyd. Um, we had that first season. We went out and beat uh, Florida, Capital One Bowl. But still, it wasn't a great, great hoorah season because we should have been better. Um, and then Coach Rod came in. We had three of maybe the poorest seasons in the last decade, two decades. So, kind of looking through that, stepping through that, realizing 
it's time. And it's kind of everyone's seeing that it's, it's, and especially for me, you know, this is, this is it. There's nothing more than I want this year than to win every single game, beat every opponent by as many points as possible. How much can you